Speaker, Canadians will be paying for Conservative handouts to the wealthy for generations to come. And adding insult to injury, Conservatives are actually going to spend $13.5 million of our money for ads on their bad idea. Yeah, Today, yeah, the yeah. PBO confirmed that Conservatives will give billions to the wealthy while leaving middle-class Canadians falling further and further behind. Yeah. These latest Conservative handouts will cost tens of billions of dollars this year. And get this, the doubling of the TFSA will give the wealthiest 20% twice as much as all other Canadians combined. Whoa. With so many families struggling to find affordable childcare and looking for work, why are the Conservatives so fixated on helping out the wealthy? The Honourable Minister of Independence. Mr. Speaker, the NDP thinks that people who earn less than $60,000 a year are wealthy. And that is what they are su suggesting. The people who will benefit from the increased uh, contribution limit of the tax-free savings accounts are those who have already maxed it out. Two-thirds of them earn less than $60,000 a year. Maybe they had a small inheritance from a deceased family member. Maybe they are required to take the money out of their RSP or RIF and therefore looking for a place to shelter it from the, the hands of government. Mr. Speaker, the only way they'll be able to do that is by re-electing a Conservative government because the NDP would tax that money away. The Finance Minister has already admitted that our grandkids will pay for his handouts right. to the wealthy. Yeah, the Conservative right. proposal to double the TFSA limit is a scheme that overwhelmingly rewards the wealthy. It's kind of like some perverse Robin Hood tax going on. According to the PBO, the wealthiest Canadians will get almost 10 times more than the entire Whoa. middle class combined. Ooh. That leaves middle class families working harder than ever to make ends meet while having to pay for this latest Conservative handout. Why are Conservatives actually spending $13.5 million advertising handouts for the wealthy, yet refuse to invest even one single dollar in creating childcare spaces for everybody else? Here, here. The Honourable Minister of Employment. Mr. Speaker, let me quote from the Finance Department of Canada. About 60% of the individuals contributing the maximum amount to their tax-free savings accounts had incomes of less than $60,000 a year in 2013, Mr. Speaker. That's on page 235. The NDP wants to raise taxes on people earning less than $60,000 a year, Mr. Speaker. That, that is exactly the wrong thing to do for our families. They want to take away the universal child care benefit and raise taxes on families, Mr. Speaker. We won't let them do that.